Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Devin Christopher, if you are new. Well, I've been wanting to make this video for a while. Uh, my friend Julie inspired me the other day. So we're going to do, my husband picks his five favorite bags from my collection and his five least favorite bags from my collection. And he's gonna tell us why. I also have someone to introduce to you guys. Gucci's playing with him right now. We went to the Humane Society and we got Gucci a brother. So I want you guys to meet Louis. He's a Belgian Malinois, I think is how you pronounce it. And a giant schnauzer mix. We took Gucci with us to the Humane Society yesterday so we could find someone who he got along well with. Gucci absolutely loves Louis. There's that sweetie, if you see him. And now we're gonna go get Kevin and see what he thinks of my bags. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do these in the order that he picked them out. And I audibly gasped on these first two. <laughs> this is the first one he told me he doesn't like. This is my, uh, I believe it's, someone told me it's called grape, not raisin. And this is my Balenciaga bag. It's a tote bag. I absolutely love this bag. Uh, it's a really soft goat skin leather. It's a great tote to put whatever you want in. Why don't you like this one? I can't say that on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you like, well, you're it, gonna have to. It looks like a wrinkly old bag. Okay. What well, is a wrinkly old bag? <laughs> a wrinkly old bag. You're wanting to say something else. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't see it, but... It looks like a pierced, wrinkly old bag. Oh. <laughs> you see it now. Well, I like it. You see it now. Yes, it is there. The mental image has been planted. Next. Okay, my poor baby. <laughs> okay, this... This is the second one that he said, and this surprised me because you told me you liked it when I first got it. I like the color. Yeah, I love the color. This is my Balenciaga La Cagole bag, I think it might be somewhat close to how you pronounce it. I love this. This is one of my favorite bags in my entire collection. So again, I guessed when he said this one. It looks like it rolled right out of the trail park. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, it looks trashy. 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 It does sort of give me like motorcycle mommy vibes. Like 80 year old. No. <laughs> <laughs> Even Louie don't like it. <laughs> oh, okay. This was the third one you said. So this is just a little plastic. It looks like a Vietnamese shopping bag. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. You proceeded to turn it into a handbag. Yeah, I bedazzled it and put a chain on it. So, your luxury loving rear end, see, Louie don't like it. <laughs> um, me and Louie evidently have the same taste. In case you didn't hear that, Louie's over here grunting. <laughs> Tragic. Toy. Cheap. Useless. Okay. Well, I can see that. Kind of. And I don't really use that often. Tacky. So I'm not super offended. Horribly tacky. Well, I don't mind tacky. No, no, that's that's bad tacky. Fourth bag he chose was a gift. And this, again, is one of my favorite bags. Autumn Beckman got it for me. I absolutely love it. I call it my tongue in the armpit bag. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's why you don't like it? Yes. This is what I call it? Well, just... The way you carry it. When you put it on your shoulder, it looks like somebody is licking your armpit. Oh my gosh, I never noticed that her eye makeup and her eyelashes are like felted. Look, there's like a little felt detail here. I never noticed that before. I can't believe I didn't notice that. Is that all you have to say about her? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I and love you, Autumn. Thank you. I love it, even though Kevin doesn't. <laughs> I my can't believe my I didn't opinion know don't that. matter. The last one of his least favorite bags is my GCDS bag. 
And why don't you like this one? Waste of money. Useless. Gaudy. That's fair, because I never carry this bag. You really can't put anything in it. I mean... You can't even put your phone in it. Unless you got one of them, phone. unless you got one of them flip up Samsung thingamajigs, you can't do that. That's just tacky. Yeah, it really doesn't fit hardly any. I mean, you could like squeeze a card holder and your keys in there, but that's about it. That's about it. That is that is a cocktail. That is a cocktail bag if I've ever seen one. Even my card holder, it's very hard to get out of there once you put it in. I got this bag because it had this like uh, kind of risque anime pattern. But then the way that they cut this one specifically, you can't see the anime pattern at all. Gucci's over here rearranging the house. You gonna rearrange some furniture while I'm talking? Okay, and now we'll come back with Kevin's five favorite bags from my collection. If there are any. Oh, shut up. Okay, so I'm glad we did this video because I'm equally as surprised at his favorite picks of mine. These are not what I would have thought he would pick out of my collection. The first one, he kept calling this my Marc Jacobs bag. This is Brandon Blackwood. It's in this beautiful blue color, and I put this little um, wizard lizard pin on there that one of my friends made. Why do you like this bag? The color. Is that the only reason? The color. And you can put your phone in it, and your wallet, and your keys, and it's functional. This is the SYL bag, I think they call it. So, you know me. Form, function, versatility. Okay, so then why did you pick this one as your second favorite bag? Because I bought it for you. Okay, I do like this bag a lot. It is very cute. It's like one of the smaller bags that I would ever carry, but it, if we like go on a date or something where I don't need to carry a lot of stuff, it's the perfect Nothing. size. Nothing. I can put my phone in there. Yeah, <laughs> literally. When we go on a date, he carries nothing. Unfortunately, he's spoiled. <laughs> It is a cute little bag. I'm just surprised that you picked such a small bag for one of your favorites. Okay, this is the third bag that he picked, which I'm also very surprised about, because I don't think I, I don't know if I ever even carried this. Here's my Gucci earring I was looking for. Wow! <laughs> Jesus. So I got this because it looks like a Halloween candy bucket pail. Because you screamed that you wanted it for forever and you got it and then it looks great on the counter for Halloween full of candy. Well, I'll definitely carry it in October. I'm excited to carry it. In it October. looks better for a Halloween party full of candy. Yeah, we did fill it with candy for our Halloween party. And it's supposed to be reversible, but you definitely I would never risk damaging it by trying to reverse it. Uh, so why did you say this is one of your favorite in my collection? See how they have the logo on that on there like it could go on the outside. Yeah, no, that's a negative Ghost Rider. Try again. Because it looks good on the counter. Full of candy. <laughs> that's why you like yes. it. Yes. <laughs> There's no security in this bag. It's just a big open bucket, but you could put the whole kitchen sink in there. So Literally, full of candy. This was the fourth bag we picked, and I'm honestly surprised you didn't go for my red and pink split one just because it's all leather. Why did you pick this Because one? that was a gift and I didn't have to buy it. <laughs> Well, they were both a gift. <laughs> this and, was and from my you, gaudy girls. You literally cried when you got that bag. Yeah, it's so cute. It's so me. And I put this little uh, Sailor Chibi pin on there because she just matched perfectly. This and, is, uh, and you absolutely... I honestly think I love... I think you loved that bag more than me when you got it. <laughs> That's not true. I bullshit. This is anyway. the Longchamp Le Pliage XS. And despite its very small stature, you can put everything in the world in here. It's a great bag. I mean, maybe not a coat, but you could put all everything else you would need in a day in there. And then so. I absolutely love, yeah, it's a really great bag. It's so small, but it really can just, you can just keep putting stuff in there. It's like a Mary Poppins bag. And it's so cute too. So thank you to my gaudy girls for giving me this. All right, and Kevin's last favorite bag in my collection, which makes me really happy because I just got this one, so. That he did, one, he did not, hold on, hold, hold on, put that away, put that away. First of all, he didn't tell me about this bag. Second of all, he didn't show me this bag when it arrived. 
Third of all, I had to see this bag sitting on the shelf and ask him, where did this bag come from? <laughs> so this is my new diesel 1DR bag with the flame print. I absolutely love it. It has flames and smoke to make up the pattern of the bag. It's actually a city. There's a scene, if you look very closely, you can see the scene of the city and the building that's on fire. It is a silhouette of a building that has burned and that is still currently burning. I like this because, well, I'm a firefighter and you know, it's fire. <laughs> and, it has, and it has your first letter of your first name right there in Big, shiny, silver. I, I, I can't, don't think I um, <laughs> Yeah, first letter of his first name. Wrapped in chrome with flames. Yes. And it's shiny, you know. This is another, if we're going on a date bag, because you can't put much in there. But I can pull my cards out of my card holder and stick them in this little slip pocket. And I can slip my phone right here. And if I want to, I can stick my keys in there as well, but that's about it. This front flap I have found useless so far. I mean, you could probably use it to put cards or receipts in, but I a haven't used it A phone without a case? No, it's too small. It's just a little slit. A, phone, with a, a, phone, like a phone without a case will fit in there. A small phone. I don't know whose phone would be that small. You'd be surprised. But I'm happy you like this because it's my most recent purchase. <laughs> Okay, I love you guys. Thanks for coming to see us. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video if you want to see it. I hope you guys have the best day. Thanks for coming to see us. I'm gonna try to find some of my friends' videos who did a similar concept and link them below if you guys wanna watch them. Okay, I love you. Talk to you soon. Bye. You wanna say bye to everyone, Louie? Louie's napping. He's asleep. Okay, love you guys.